Hi and welcome back to Dano Does. In this video, we will be making a low carb, high tasting spaghetti squash with meat sauce meal. If you haven't already, please like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, and check us out at danodoes.com. We want to cut the spaghetti squash in half, long with. Now that we have it cut in half, we're going to scoop out the seeds, put it in a bowl so we can make spaghetti squash seeds later. Now that we're done scooping out the seeds and innards, we're ready to continue with making our spaghetti squash with meat sauce. All right, so after we've hollowed the seeds and membrane out of the internal side of the spaghetti squash, we're gonna take our olive oil and we're gonna put about one third of a teaspoon, I'm sorry, one third of a tablespoon onto both halves, all right? Kind of eyeball it. And then we're gonna take our brush, we're gonna spread it out. If you don't have a brush, you can just use your, your bare hand to do this to help spread it out, to help it cook a little better, to roast it on the inside. The oven is preheated at 400 degrees. We're gonna put these halves into the oven for 50 to 60 minutes. First, we're gonna put a light seasoning of salt, pepper, and a little paprika to give it a little bit of a kick. So we're gonna do that now. Put them upside down so the outer shell is up. Put it in there for 50 to 60 minutes, and then we'll be good to go. Here is the salt, pepper, paprika mix. It's good to go, and then we'll throw it in the oven. While the spaghetti squash is in the oven, I'm going to take my ground beef and put it on the stove at a medium high heat and let that cook for approximately 15 minutes. I like to use three fourths of a pound, so 75% of a pound per egg squash. So if you're doing two egg squash, you're gonna to wanna to have a pound and a half. If you're only using the one, you're gonna be using three fourths of a pound. So I throw that on the stove I let it cook, I break it up a bit, and then I move on. And while that's happening, I'm gonna be working on cutting up my onion as well as cutting up my garlic and preparing the carrots. So that's all going on at the same time. So while that's going on here, let's take it over to our cutting board. Right now we have the spaghetti squash in the oven. We have our meat cooking on the stove top and we need to prepare our vegetables. This way we can be multitasking to cut down on our cooking time. For today's recipe, I'm gonna be using a white onion. You could very easily replace that with a yellow onion. I like to use the white onion for this because I like to get the sweetness out of the carrot that we're gonna mix in here. However, a yellow onion makes sense to use also. It just needs to be a medium size. Please leave in the comment what type of onion you think you're gonna be using for this. dice three or four garlic cloves. I really like garlic, so I'm gonna have four. So you take it, push down on it, break the shell, remove that skin. And then you're good to begin dicing it, cutting it very thinly. Again, Take my clove, take my blade, make it flat, break it, and I can peel off the skin. All right, 
right, so my carrot, I already peeled my carrot, it's ready to go. I take this and I just grate it down, the largest grater I have. This is to help add some sweetness to the taste of the sauce. Again, if you don't have a grater, you might wanna just look to using yellow onion rather than white onion. Now add its own sweetness to it. It'll be a little different, tastes, tastes different, but you'll still get the same end result. So I'm just gonna grate this down. I'm only gonna do about half of the carrot. I'm gonna take those, that grating and that's what's gonna go into the sauce. Mix with the meat. All right, the meat's been cooking for about 15 minutes with me stirring it occasionally. We got all of our veggies ready to go. We got our tomato sauce ready to go. Everything's looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do before I mix in any of my vegetables, I'm gonna pour a little bit of salt and pepper on here, just to add a little seasoning so the meat has something, something with it. So just a dash of salt dash of pepper, stir it and mix it one last time, and then we'll start adding our vegetables. All right, this is looking really good. So here we go with our vegetables. We got our onions, our garlic, mix that in there. Try to mix this all together. Take our carrots, our shredded carrot that we made. Like I have said several times, is just to add a little sweetness to this. All right, tastes really good. It's gonna complement the spaghetti squash excellently. I'm gonna mix this all together. Continue to mix it until it's dissipated in the mix. Nice and mixed, we're gonna take 14 ounces of tomato sauce. We're gonna mix it in. And now continue to stir. <laughs> Pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit for five minutes, let it simmer. So you might turn the heat up a little bit, let it simmer and then have it sit uncovered for five minutes. And by then our spaghetti squash will be ready to come out of the oven and we can start mixing the two. Okay, so it's been five minutes of it simmering. <coughs> now I'm gonna taste it for seasoning. So get the heat on, give it a little quick check to see how it tastes. Pretty good. Could use a little more salt, so just a hash more salt. Also, could use a little more kick, so 100%, depending on how you're feeling, what you want. I'm gonna take some crushed red pepper flakes, I'm gonna put it in here so it has a little bit of a kick to it. I'm gonna stir it up, mix it up for a little bit. I'm gonna reduce the heat so it's at a medium instead of a high medium. So, I'm gonna have it be a little cooler. I'm gonna put a top on it. I'm gonna let it sit for the next 10 minutes. And when those 10 minutes elapse, that's our time we can pull out the spaghetti squash. Put a lid on it. Catch in 10. All right, we're taking it out of the oven. It's been 40 minutes. It's nice and warm. We're gonna take our fork. I'm gonna just nice and easy rip up on it, pull it. And as you can see, it looks like we have these noodles, the spaghetti noodles. That's why it's called spaghetti squash. So we're just pulling it back ripping it up, creating that look. It doesn't really taste like spaghetti, I don't think, but it has a similar texture. And it also has the appearance of it. So once I rip them both up, I'd like to kind of swirl it around a little bit. And all I'm doing here with this 
is getting it ready for the meat sauce that we made. So we'll pour the meat sauce directly into this and we'll be good to go. I like to serve this out of the shell. It makes it look nice, makes it look fancy. It gives people the impression that you're really, really good at cooking when you're just okay. So that's what we have. All this is gonna be our, our noodles, right? Our, our noodles, we're good to go. And here's our other one, nice and ripped up. So one shell per person, serves two with one with one spaghetti squash. All right, we're just gonna serve it straight out of these shells, straight out of the spaghetti squash itself. So I'm just gonna take the meat sauce and pour it right in there. As you can tell, it's looking pretty good. It smells phenomenal. And as I said earlier, if you like cheeses to go on it, I'm gonna be using the mozzarella cheese. I think that's the best cheese to use for something like this. So I'm gonna take a little mozzarella cheese, shredded, real basic stuff. Put it on there, throw on the basil leaves, and then we'll be good to go. So we got some shredded mozzarella. Just gonna pour it right on there. Let it melt right in there. There we go. Fried basil leaves, I'll mix in there too because it goes really well with this. So. <laughs> And that's it, that's all you need to do. So, that's the end of the video. If you liked what you saw, please like and share this video. Also subscribe to the channel. You can check us out at danodoes.com.